What's up, everybody? Uh, it's your girl, Lunatic Froggy. Today, we're going to be discussing something that personally affects my family. We're going to be talking about schizophrenia. Now, if we go to the Mayo Clinic, which we all love the Mayo Clinic, It states that schizophrenia is a, is a serious mental disorder in which people interpret reality abnormally. And schizophrenia may result in some combinations of hallucinations, delusions, and extremely disordered thinking and behaviors that impair daily functions and can be disabling. Um, so this one goes back. Uh, into a better, like, list of things. So, uh, symptoms. Schizophrenia involves a range of problems with thinking. Cognitive... Cognition. Behavior and emotions. Signs and symptoms may vary, but usually involve delusion, delusions, hallucination disorganized speech and reflect an impaired ability to function symptoms may include delusions these are false beliefs that are not based in reality for example you think you are being harmed or harassed certain gestures or comments are directed at you you have exceptional ability or frame another person is in love with you or a major catastrophe is about to occur delusions occur in most people with schizophrenia um so basically some of these lulu people have signs of schizophrenia Hallucination. These usually involve seeing or hearing things that don't exist. Yet for the person with schizophrenia, they have a full force and impact of a normal experience. Hallucinations can be in any of the sense, but hearing voices is the most common. Disorganized thinking. Speech. Disorganized thinking is inferred from disorganized speech. Effective communication can be impaired and answers to questions may be partial, partially or completely unrelated. Rarely, speech may, be, may include putting together mean, meaningless words that can't be understood sometimes known as a word salad extremely disorganized or abnormal motor behavior this may show in a, this may show in a number of ways from childlike silliness to unpredictable agitation behavior isn't focused on a goal so it's hard to do tests. Behaviors can include resistance to instructions, inappropriate or bizarre posture, a complete lack of response, or use useless and excessive movement. Negative symptoms. This refers to reduced or lack ability to function normally. For example, the person may neglect personal hygiene or appear to lack emotions. Doesn't make eye contact, doesn't change facial expression, or see, speaks in a monotone. Also, the person may lose interest in everyday activities, social withdrawal, or lack the ability to experience pleasure. 
Um, symptoms in Symptoms can vary in the type of severity over time with periods worsening and remission of symptoms. Some symptoms may always be present. In men, schizophrenia symptoms typically start in the early to mid-20s. In women, symptoms typically begin in the late 20s. It's uncommon for children to be diagnosed with schizophrenia and for and rare for those older than the age of 45 my child was diagnosed at six um symptoms in teenagers schizophrenia schizophrenia symptoms in teenagers are similar to those in adults but the conditions may be more difficult to recognize this may be in particular because of some of the early symptoms of schizophrenia in teenagers are common for typical development during teen years, such as withdrawal from family and friends, a drop in performance at school, trouble sleeping, irritable, irritability and depressed mood, lack of motivation. Also, recreational substance abuse such as Mary Jane uh, methamphetamines or LSD can sometimes cause similar signs and symptoms compared with schizophrenia symptoms in adults and teens may be less likely to have delusions more likely to have visual visual hallucinations. Um, helping someone who may have schizophrenia. If you think someone you know may have symptoms of schizophrenia, talk to him or her about your concerns. Although you can't force someone to seek professional help, you can offer encouragement and support and help your loved ones find qual a qualified doctor and mental health professional. My son was uh, diagnosed through his psychiatrist. Okay, so... We're going to look at the Mayo Clinic of Childhood Schizophrenia. Um, diagnosis. Diagnosis of childhood schizophrenia involved ruling out other mental health disorders and determining that symptoms aren't due to alcohol or drug use, medication, or medical conditions. The process of diagnosis may involve a psychological exam, Testing and screening, screening psychi psychiatric evaluation. Um, they observe you. You sit at the freaking hospital for 12 hours, tired and droggy, and your son's sitting there talking about how Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles... Uh, told them to go play in a bus or that he had to hide in the bus because the zombie was coming to get him. That's We weren't allowed to... Uh, there was a lot of things we weren't allowed to watch. Um, challenging process, the path to... Diagnosed childhood schizophrenia can sometimes be a long and challenging. In part, this is because other conditions, such as depression and bipolar disorder, can have similar symptoms. A child psychiatrist may want to monitor your child's behavior, precipitations, and thinking patterns for several months or more. As thinking and behavior patterns and signs and symptoms become clear over time, a diagnosis of schizophrenia may be made. In some, 
in some cases, a psychiatrist may recommend starting medication before making the official diagnosis. This is especially important for symptoms of aggression and self-injury. Some medications may help limit these types of behavior. So again, childhood schizophrenia does have aggression. Treatment. Schizophrenia in children require lifelong treatment, even during periods when symptoms seem to have go have gone away. Treatment in particular challenges for children with schizophrenia. Treatment team, a psychiatrist, a psychiatric nurse, social worker, family members, pharmacist, and a case manager to coordinate care. Um, you end up losing it if you fucking move to Texas. Main treatment op options, medication, psychotherapy, life skills training, and hospitalization. My son had the first three for six years. Uh, medication, uh, basically they're going to be put on an anti um Psychiatric medication, Risperdone or Risperdal. Um, he had a really bad reaction to that one, and a lot of people are having a really bad reaction to Risperdal. They end up eating and eating and eating and eating. He ate, I'll put it to you this way he was on Risperdal, and We went to my friend Val's house, and she made us all chew. Big. I'm talking huge. Uh, breakfast burritos with like five different meats and whatnot. My son ate two of his two. Uh, half a bag of chips. Now, remind you, he's eight at this time. And, um, he ended up eating, like, a bunch. And then, like, his stomach started hurting and he started going into seizures. We had to rush him to the hospital because of Risperdone. Um... First generation of antipsychotics, medication, side effects, and side effects. I mean, your doctor will tell you all about those. But they, you do have training and everything else for schizophrenia. Never let one person's belief that just because you have schizophrenia means you can't do things stand in your way of getting treatment help having an amazing sport team finding an amazing sport team and working for what you want in life my son has childhood schizophrenia was diagnosed with childhood schizophrenia at the age of six very, very rare. I will tell you, it's very rare. Still to this day, he hears voices, he sees things that ain't there. But instead of being like, you're lying or discriminating against them or, oh my God, you're insane or anything along those lines, we literally stand beside my son. We tell him, nope. That didn't happen. Dry again. And it helps snap them into reality. But you will always hear me say, my son does not live in reality. My son lives in his own world. And it is true. He lives in his own world. That's why when he does all those questions, that's why. Because... 
those questions are coming from his own thought process, which is not what normal people would have. But I wanted to give you guys some information on schizophrenia and how it affects, affects people. I love you all, and I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget, you are amazing. Love you all. Bye.